Hey there flippers and welcome back to Second Life Treasures. So in today's video we are going to be doing something completely different. Um, instead of sort of all of you sort of watching me sort of go out, pick stuff up and then tell you sort of what it's worth. I'm going to be starting a brand new series on the channel which is going to show you how to start your own resale business with literally £10. So the idea behind the series is that I want to sort of show sort of that you can start a resale business uh, from sort of from anything really so i know that there's been there's been some other se other series that have been done sort of on youtube just like this um some people have started with nothing um i've chose to make it a bit easier on myself and i'm cheating by starting with 10 pounds but i just want to sort of show you the sort of uh the sort of things you can do to sort of build a business yourself so I, before sort of starting to record this video, um, I actually sort of sat down and sort of wrote out sort of everything that I want to cover. Now, I was intending on this being sort of a monthly series, but I, with what I've written down to sort of go through, and literally all I'm up to, the sort of I've got the first sort of five stages sort of set out, and that's basically taking us up to sort of listing our items on ebay um and dual listing them as well but i don't if i think if i was going to put all this into one video it is going to be just so long um so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and limit these videos to about 30 minutes and what i am going to do is the the current sort of um structure that i've sort of put together i think i'm going to have to split it over into at least two videos so i am going to be so this one is going to be the first video in the series but instead of waiting a month for the next video um, i am actually going to put the second part out next saturday um and yeah we'll just sort of keep going what i'll probably do is i'll do a video a week um on the sort of building the business and sort of basically just building it up from sort of where we are now which is nothing um i already sort of have a brand in place that i am going to be sort of selling under but what we are going to do is in this uh this video and in today's video actually we are going to build a brand new brand so the reason why i've already got another brand sort of set up is because um i am not going to be promoting that brand sort of on the channel um, I want the performance to sort of be organic. Um, I don't want sort of anything to sort of come from sort of eBay. But as I say, we are going to build, I am going to go through building sort of everything up um, and we'll do that all together sort of on the video. So before we get started on building our brand new brand, um, there is going to be sort of one major rule. Uh, for this video series and the rule is going to be that i am not allowed to use anything um, to do with second life treasures um, so that includes any of the postage boxes um, the pho uh, photography table so the table that i use sort of when you see me do my pickups video um, that's obviously where i do all my item photography as well um, I'm not allowed to use my lights. I'm not allowed to use anything. Um, and that even goes for um, my DSLR. So I have a DSLR that I've had for years, sort of long before sort of I ever started doing Second Life Treasures. Um, but literally, I'm not even gonna not even allowed to use that. Um, it is gonna be very, very basic on everything to start with. But I just want to show you how, even by doing things very basic, you can actually sort of build a brand um, that has a particular image to it. Um, and that is the whole thing. So it's all about sort of building our sort of resale business and our brand to uh, a point where we're sort of getting regular sales. We've got money coming in. And yeah, so... 
the way that I'm going to do it is the first bit that we're going to be looking at is sort of the getting started. Um, and in that section, we're going to be going through how to create our new brand, creating all the accounts that we are going to need uh, to get everything up and running. And then we're also going to show, uh, do some research as well. Um, and we're going to research sort of various different bits, but I'll go through that when we get to it. Uh, then we're going to look at sourcing products. Um, so what that would be is I have been out, um, I have sourced some products, and obviously I did film it as normal. But instead of it being sort of a normal, sort of most of the video is us outsourcing, um, that will pretty much be sort of a, the, the actual video portion of it will be sort of um, sped through. And we'll be sort of just talking about sort of various bits while we're out and while we've got that video going. Then we're going to be looking at uh, what we do with the products when we get home. Uh, because for what I do for the channel, um, as soon as I've finished filming sort of my pickups part of the video, um, you don't really get to see what I do sort of after that. Um, so I want to sort of show you sort of what my process is sort of once I get home. Um, and then we'll next bit I've got planned out and there is a lot more to sort of go through um, is going to be sort of listing items. So we're going to go through sort of photographing the items, listing the items on eBay. And then we're also going to sort of talk about dual listing as well. So what I will say as well is before we really sort of get into it, um, this is my way of doing things. So this is how I've sort of built Second Life Treasures up from sort of the ground up. Um, there are there may be better ways to do it. There may not be. Um, but this is what I found has sort of worked for me. So yeah, it's more about sort of just giving you a bit of an insight into sort of how I have done things. And to be quite honest, what I am planning at the moment with this is that at the moment I'm planning on sort of running this until um, sort of uh, March, April uh, to see how the business grows um, and just sort of basically give it six months to run um, purely because obviously come sort of March, April, uh, the boot fairs are going to start up again. So we'll be sort of ramping back up sort of into the, the boot fair videos. Um, but also what I'm also considering is to sort of make this a sort of yearly task so every year um, around this sort of time we will start a brand new business we'll go we'll, we'll document it and to be honest what i'm hoping is is by this sort of time next year i will have a completely different sort of um, outlook on things and i'll be able to sort of say what we could do better what what's worked and what hasn't really so yeah let's get into it let's get started with creating our brand and see how we get on okay so we are now at the getting started phase and um to start with we are going to be creating a brand new brand now you do have a choice when you first start out you've got a couple of different choices to make do you want to sort of build um build something from scratch or sort of use something that's sort of that's existent so i've obviously i've made the choice that sort of i want to have a particular brand to do everything just like second life treasures um but when you first start out you can literally start selling on your personal fa uh, personal ebay page um, there is nothing to stop you doing that and in some respects it can be easier to sort of use a, your personal um, eBay page when you first start out because you will, if you've sort of had the, had a personal account for a while, you'll have some feedback there. So you'll have a bit of a, a base to sort of start from. You're not starting with a zero feedback profile. But then you've got to sort of consider what we what will you do later on down the line. So as things start to grow, um, you will want to basically est establish a brand for yourself. And if you're sort of starting to trade on your personal eBay account, you've then you've been say for example you've been trading for sort of a year, 
and you're now at the point where you're making sort of daily sales you've got good money coming in and you really want to sort of make it into a brand that you can really sort of promote and sort of push now you're at the point where you've got to decide well do i now give up my personal ebay account to then rename it into this new brand or do i create a whole new ebay page a whole new ebay profile and essentially start from scratch now that uh, that to me is a sort of the big um the big danger so if you're at the point if you're willing to sort of switch your ebay uh, your personal ebay account into your business account then yeah by all means sort of start off with your personal account um but if not I would definitely say the best way to do it is to start a new profile um, and literally start from scratch. So that's what we're going to do here. And we're going to start off by coming up with a name for our new business. Now, what I would say to do is if you sort of want to sort of follow along with sort of how I'm doing this, best thing to do is sort of grab a sort of pen and a bit of paper and just sort of jot things down as we go through i'm actually going to grab my notepad and a pen so that i can sort of take notes as well as we're going along because there will be bits that you'll just want to sort of jot down so we want to sort of we want to start off by sort of coming up with a name and what i will what the way that i start um because obviously i have um my background sort of before um well my my background in general um, I've always worked in IT. Um, now, when I started off in IT, um, I actually started off as a web developer. Um, and part of being a web developer was sort of working with uh, businesses to set up brands, um, maybe coming up with sort of new brands for the company. Um, so I'd work quite closely with sort of designers and together we would sort of potentially come up with completely new brands. Um, so... I've had a bit of experience in sort of creating new brands and obviously I have I've created sort of different brands myself so obviously I um I built second life treasures from scratch at home um I sort of didn't have the money to sort of go out to sort of a third party to help me build it I literally had to do everything myself but because of the experience that I had with regards to sort of like graphic design and sort of um coming up with build, building a brand from sort of nothing um that's what sort of helped me so what i start with is i start thinking about the keywords so what are the, what is my brand and what are the key focus is going to be so with this one i'm going to write these down as we're doing them first one is going to be resale so we are going to be reselling items um Another thing you've also potentially got is um, auctions. Um, you could, you've got the, when you start a resale business, you don't have to exclusively just sell, buy it now. You can do auctions. And it is something that I have been thinking about for Second Life Treasures, where if something's sort of sitting on the shelf for sort of six, seven, eight months or whatever, do I could I potentially sort of turn that into an auction and sort of basically start the auction at what I paid for it and let the auction run? That's another option that we've got for sort of later on down the line. Obviously, at the stage that we're at now, um, it's not something that I would even consider to start with, but we've got the option to put um, auctions down as a uh, potential. Uh, we've then got um, buying, uh, buy even. So um, what we'll do is, so you could sit here and you could you could go on for ages as to sort of what uh, what keywords you want to do. But to stop this video sort of going on too long, um, I'm going to stick with um, I'm just going to stick with one keyword for now, and that's going to be resale. So. You'll see here that I have got Google open on my screen. And you're probably wondering, sort of, well, I can't really Google a new company name. Well, you can, because um, what I tend to do when I'm sort of building a new brand, um, I will do a Google search for 
company name generator because we're trying to build we're trying to get a name we're trying to sort of come up with ideas really so you'll see here sort of up top there's sort of loads of ads uh, we're not interested in the ads we want to go down here so the first one you see here is um, namelex um, it's not one that I've used before so this will be quite interesting um, and also there's no sponsorship here this is literally just the first one that sort of come up so you'll see here it's now asking us for our keywords so what we're going to do is we are going to put in resale and if I click on generate it then asks me sort of what sort of name do I want do I want a short name a long name uh, sorry a median name or a long name and it's all about sort of how many characters are in the name I tend to sort of go for the medium names I think six to twelve characters is um, is a good starting point um, and what you're trying to do is when you're sort of building this brand you're trying to sort of get something that someone's going to remember so we then go on to the next tab here which is styles so we want brand name don't want a non-english name a non-english words and especially the fact i'm looking for something within resale uh, we want real words oh it's only letting us pick one okay so we're going to go with brandable names i thought it would allow us to select multiples there but unfortunately it doesn't so if we click oh excuse me if we click generate so you'll see here sort of we've got quite a few and best thing to do is just sort of scroll down and just sort of see if any sort of jump out so one that did jump out at me was this one crazy rogue <laughs> um I, I quite like sort of names like that um so i'm actually going to write that one down Right, so I've got I've made a note of that now um, and that to be quite honest that's probably going to be the one that I'll use um, for this sort of demonstration um, as I say I have already got the my new brand set up for the uh, for the 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 brand that I'm going to be selling under sort of for this video series but yeah you just sort of have a look through um, and just see, I don't think this has sort of quite come out the way I expected. Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah, I would expect, was expecting to see more sort of with sort of like resale in. Um, but, yeah, best thing to do is obviously you go back, go to the keywords... And now broke it. <laughs> there you go. So we can change resale to buy, for example. Uh, we keep the name length the same. We keep it as a, a brandable word. And then we get different ones. So we've got buy cast here. Uh, we've got exo buy they're sort of quite good ones um see but you've got one here so you've got uh upsell it um where you could where we're just using this as sort of a an idea so you could potentially set change that to sort of upseller for example um or sort of mix and match so you've got sort of like exo buy there you could do sort of exo upsell or things like that so this is purely being used as sort of a a tool to sort of help you sort of build your brand but what we'll do is as i say we will for this um this example we're going to use the crazy rogue brand um and once again it doesn't necessarily have to have something to do with reselling um so yeah right so what we'll do is uh we will switch over now um and we'll start going through the different accounts 
that we need to sort of create. So now we've got our brand in place, we are now going to be setting up our accounts. So there are a variety of accounts that we're going to need. Um, I've sort of got a, a list that sort of I'll work with. Um, I've got four that I think that are essential and two that are going to be sort of optional extras. But they are accounts that sort of I do set up. Um, and the first thing we're going to need is an email. Uh, most important thing is obviously we're not going to be able to create the accounts on the various different services uh, without an email account. So I um, I currently sort of for Second Life Treasures um, I used uh, I use a paid email service which uh, basically also gives me um, sort of cloud storage. And what I do is, is I have sort of all of the YouTube videos, um, all of the, any sort of documentation that I've sort of got for the, got for the company, um, and even sort of item photography, that all um, gets synced up to the cloud and is a sort of a backup source, so I don't lose anything. Um, but, because obviously the part of, uh, the big thing of this uh, challenge is to obviously start a resale business from £10. So we haven't got the money to pay for an email service. But luckily there is a whole raft of different email providers out there. Um, one of the biggest is Microsoft, which used to call it Hotmail, um, but I believe it's now gone to sort of Outlook. Um, I do have a couple of Outlook accounts. Um, but I, I always call it Hotmail, um, and I always will, just because sort of that is that was one of my first email accounts was my Hotmail account. Um, I still have it to this day, which I'm quite proud of. But in addition to Hotmail, we've also got Gmail, and there are other sort of providers out there as well. Um, I will be honest; I mainly use Hotmail. I've occasionally used Gmail. Uh, haven't really used sort of any others other than that so yeah what you do is obviously pick what email provider sort of you want to use um, go off and create an account so for an example with the example that we're using here um, I would sort of go to sort of the Outlook, pay, Outlook um, page create a new account and I would call it something like uh, crazy rogue at um, outlook.com and that would basically be my business email. So once we've got the email set up, we've then got to set up probably the most important account that we're going to be setting up. And that is our eBay account. We are not going to be able to sell on eBay if we don't have an eBay account. So what we are going to do, I'm just going to switch over to the eBay page just quickly and just give you sort of a, a quick run through. So once you come to the eBay page, you're obviously going to want to register for a new account. So just up in the top corner here, you'll see it says sign in or register. So if we click on register, now what I would do here is obviously you are, you see here at the top, it gives you the option for personal account or business account. If we click on this little eye here, it says you should choose this option if you are a business you are a charity, or you regularly sell large numbers of goods. Now, we, that is where we're hoping to get to. Technically, we are a business now. Um, we haven't sold anything yet, but technically, right now, as we stand, we are Crazy Rogue, the business. Um, so, we would, I would select a business account. So, it's going to ask you sort of the business name, uh, which will be Crazy Rogue, business email address crazy rogue at outlook.com we're going to set a password um, we are in the united kingdom um, if you don't have a legal business enter the country of a residence so technically at the moment uh, with regards to the uk uh, we are not a legal business so when i say a legal business doesn't mean that crazy rogue is illegal and i'm going to get jailed for sort of running it when I say legal business, I mean something like a company that um, a company that is incorporated. So you've registered with Companies House, um, you've made it into, for example, a limited company. 
Uh, so technically then my business name would then become Crazy Rogue Limited. But we are not going to be um, incorporating, we're not going to be doing any of that. That's the sort of thing that you do one, sort of down the line once you've sort of grown. Um, and if you, get, if you ever get to the point where you're going to start bringing staff on, I would basically incorporate before doing that. Um, so yes, we are our country of residence is the United Kingdom. Um, then next we've got a tick box that says sort of I only want to buy on eBay. I don't want to sell. Well, we definitely don't want to click that box <laughs> because obviously the main thing we're here for is to sell. Um, then you'd click on register and the website would sort of guide you through the process. I'm not going to go through sort of creating the account here. Um, because as I say, I have already set up um, another brand for sort of reselling on. So I'm going to minimize that back down. And then we go on to the next account that we're going to need. And that will be a PayPal account. Now the PayPal account, the big thing that we're going to be using this for is um, later on down the line, when we get to sort of listing items, we are, we are going to be dual listing. Um, and the plan is, is to dual list on Facebook Market. And you want to basically have an option that people can pay you through Facebook Market, um, which would then allow you to ship the item out. Now, we'll get to sort of the ins and outs of how we're going to do that later on. But for now, I would suggest sort of create a PayPal account and also link it to your bank account and bank card. Because as well, when we're selling through eBay, we are going to need to be buying our postage. And we want to be able to sort of do that through um, through PayPal. It's just going to make everything a lot easier. So what I did when I first started Second Life Treasures was I created a basic bank account um, with my uh, current bank. Um, and just named it sort of Second Life Treasures. It was an additional personal account. And then that account was um, connected to everything. So that is what all of the revenue and all of the expenditure went through Second Life Treasures. Um, that way, you're able to sort of have a bank account and a debit card. You're not then going to be paying sort of business banking fees. So at the moment, you are a small business um i wouldn't advise sort of just jumping straight into a business account um a lot of a lot of banks do offer sort of a, a free period um but personally this is what i did um and i found that it worked well for me if you do want to sort of go down you want to do it all all 100 percent properly then yes by all means go get a business account set up um, obviously, look for a bank that is offering a free term. So they're offering you sort of 12 to 18 months free business banking. That will allow you to sort of uh, build the business before you're then starting to get charged. And to be honest, the charges for operating a business bank are anywhere from sort of £5 to £25 a month, I've seen. So if you are going to go down that route, just do your research, that's all I'd say. Then the fourth, yeah, sorry, fourth um, mandatory account that I would set up would be Facebook. Now, I'm not saying about creating a Facebook uh, profile. What I'm actually on about is to set up a Facebook page. So you want to basically create a page for your business and for your brand. So I would go onto Facebook. Um, there, I think the option is at the top of the screen. Um, I haven't actually got my Facebook logged in on this computer. But um, I think there's an option at the top of the screen that will allow you to sort of create a page. Um, if you're not sure how to do it, just chuck in a search on Google um, and it will, show you, it, they'll, it will tell you on there how to do it. Um, that way, once you've got your page set up, you've then also got your um, the ability to sort of create a shop that links to that page. Um, and then you can sort of dual sell. What were, what I did when I first started Second Life Treasures was I dual listed on my um, under my sort of personal Facebook page, um, 
and that is sort of how I dual listed it. So technically, when I was selling stuff on Facebook, when I first started, I was literally sort of selling it under my sort of my own name. Uh, people were sort of coming to me. Um, I wasn't sort of shipping out through through Facebook. But once we get to sort of the dual listing part, um, there will be things that we'll put in place to sort of protect yourself. Um, and then after Facebook, the only other thing that I would, the only other two accounts that I would suggest is um, an option is going to be Twitter and Instagram. And the reason I say sort of Twitter and Instagram is because as well as your Facebook page, you'll then be able to sort of post um, and sort of promote your bit, your your brand through uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So that is another thing I do when I create a new brand. First thing I do is obviously I'll um, go off and I'll get the social media accounts for that brand. So I'll normally get sort of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Then dependent on the sort of the brand. So like my um, gaming channel, for example, that has a Patreon page for it. That was all set up before I even launched the channel. Um, I don't have one through for second life treasures because i don't need one um sort of the the actual resale business is what is supporting the channel so yeah those are the accounts that i would sort of suggest and then before we sort of wrap up the getting started section because um we have sort of got to sort of like the half hour point um roughly i think um the only other thing i would um say to you to sort of think about and it would be it sort of goes back to sort of the creating your brand section and it would be the imagery of your brand so what i did when i started second life treasures i obviously designed a logo for the business now not everyone is going to be able to sort of do that so you've got the option to sort of when you first start out um and obviously it's what we're going to be doing for this because we've only got £10 to start with. Um, everything for me will be unbranded. Um, it will just have the, the company name and then we'll sort of run from there. But what I will look to do sort of further down the line is potentially sort of get someone to sort of design a logo for us. Now, you can, there are plenty of places you can go to sort of get help with designing sort of logos um one of the best resources that i've ever used and i have used it a couple of times for sort of different branding stuff is fiverr um so you can essentially sort of go and find someone that for around five pounds they will design you a logo based on your sort of based on your brand so that is something to sort of consider for sort of further down the line once we've got some sales under our belt um, but for now, what I am going to do is I am going to wrap the video up here. Um, as I say, we are I am going to be doing these as sort of weekly videos, sort of while we get everything set up. So in the next video, we are going to be looking at sourcing products and dealing with those products once we get them back home. I yeah, I am I am no, I am going to wrap it up there. So yes, we've got sort of the new bits. Uh, we're going to be sourcing the products in the next video so if you did enjoy the video sort of don't forget to sort of give it a thumbs up um, and if you if you want to see sort of more content just like this um, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be kept up to date when the next part of this video series gets uploaded and yeah with that said thank you so so much for joining me today i really hope you enjoyed the video and with that said i will see you on the next one all right bye